Okay, Scorpios, this one is for you. And if you have a Scorpio moon or your Venus is in Scorpio, or if there's any Scorpio in your astrology chart whatsoever, and even if there's no Scorpio in your astrology, like I have no Scorpio in my astrology chart, I love this tea and I've been drinking it like crazy. So this tea is the Scorpio tea from Magic Hour. I am the formulator and blender and I had so much fun with this one. And I was stumped, I have to say, because the only Scorpio I'm really, really close with in my day-to-day -day life, um, I met in high school and uh, he was, uh, his name was Wolfie and I was telling the girls earlier, there was like this big high school party happening and nobody could find Wolfie and we found him hiding in the bathtub reading a Henry Miller novel. So I was like, that's Scorpio, right? Smart, bookish, um, intelligent, uh, also the harbinger of transformation. Scorpio rules the reproductive system. Also anything that eliminates, so detoxification and cleansing and all of that is all Scorpio. So you can drink this tea whether or not you are a Scorpio and it is fabulous. And let me tell you a little bit about it. I'm very proud of this one. I'm proud of all of them, but this one was, um, okay. So there is a type of tea um, called Rose Congu, and it is like a Kimun style original uh, tea from China, and it is sweet. And so what they do is they age the tea leaves with roses so that the tea leaves, as they ferment, they absorb the scent of roses. It is sweet, it is intoxicating, it is impeccable, it is nourishing, it is romantic, it is mysterious, it's all of those things. So when I was thinking about what would be the base of the Scorpio tea, I was like Rose Congu. It's so lush and sensual. So anyway, so that is that. Then I blended in, I wanted a little heat because the Scorpios I do know are a little, um, you know, they're a little bit more on the, on the hot side you know, they roll the reproductive organs, they're sexy, they're dark, they're mysterious, they're intelligent. So had to of course put a little cinnamon in there, which is actually a prebiotic, great for digestion, balances blood sugar, and adds that natural spicy sweetness. Then I put fig in there because figs are so sexy. Figs are rich and beautiful and sweet and naturally high in all sorts of health benefits and fiber and look, they just look like a heart. Look, figs are sexy, so we added figs. Then we added saffron. Now, I put a couple little tiny pieces of saffron in here and look what it did to the water in the last few minutes. So saffron is so potent, so powerful. It is an amazing mood enhancer. Um, I've been drinking it nonstop. It makes you feel a little like loose and relaxed and high. It's uh, been proven to suppress appetite as well as it's a, an aphrodisiac. So real saffron, this is the Super Negan Saffron, and I don't know if it's Negan or Negan, but it is the highest quality, premium, premium, premium saffron. I ordered the best of the best. And then there's safflower um, petals as well in here. So this is really um, a saffron rose fig spice extravaganza. It's freaking delicious. So whether or not you're a Scorpio, oh yeah, and then vanilla bean from Madagascar. Mm. I can't forget, I added vanilla beans. Not vanilla flavor, not vanilla extract, actual vanilla bean. 12 month aged from Madagascar. and. So let's just, let's just say I didn't really skimp on this blend because the Scorpios I do know have really good taste and they are uh, refined and they love um, their food and wine and all the best things in life. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a super quick little latte for my beloved uh, Scorpio friends out there. And I definitely, have found that I think that the Scorpios in our life are going to love this and so will everybody else. So look at that beautiful golden color of all the different teas blended in. And then look at how gorgeous are you. Ah, hello, you are so beautiful. 
Don't these glasses look like Scorpio? Stunning. And you can add a little uh, whipped cream to this. I'm trying to do this without using the whipped cream um, thing, but I might have to break that out because it's just not as elegant to use the whipped cream container from the grocery store. I'm trying to be more sophisticated for you Scorpios. Okay, so here's that. All right. And then what we're gonna do is eat the whipped cream. And we're gonna put a cinnamon stick in these because it's sexy and beautiful. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, so you can imagine this is what it'll look like if you do it right. And then I'm gonna put just one or two little saffron threads. Oh, I mean, seriously, what else can I do? I feel like there's just, it's so good. There's so much. Okay. So this is what we're doing. Look how stunning this is. Okay. I feel like I can retire now. I feel like this is my biggest, most beautiful masterpiece. So whether or not you're a Scorpio, you can enjoy this tea. Let me read a couple of the health benefits. So, um, oh, well, I mean, saffron is a powerful antioxidant. Uh, it has uh, antidepressant properties, protects brain cells against damage, which is great because, you know, all of our brain cells are probably being damaged by modern society. And uh, it improves inflammation, reduces appetite, aids weight loss. I don't really know. All of those Scorpios I know are super sexy, so whatever. Um, reduces symptoms also of PMS and boosts libido. An analysis of six studies showed that taking saffron significantly improved <laughs> function. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> I'm not saying this in front of John. Libido and overall satisfaction. So all that stuff. So saffron helps everything work better and be more happy. Uh, figs promote digestive health. <laughs> are we five? No, wait, five-year-olds wouldn't be this. Yeah, they would be more innocent. Um, figs are often recommended to nourish and tone the intestines, which is amazing. Rich in antioxidants, help to balance blood sugar. Cinnamon is a prebiotic, helps the immune system, helps balance blood sugar. Roses are rich in gallic acid. They help with digestion. They help with your skin. They help um, diminish uh, fine lines and wrinkles. And uh, they've been sipped for thousands of years by women all over the world to improve their skin. And I find them to be quite aphrodisiacal. Is that a word? <laughs> it's like when a pterodactyl and an aphrodisiac mate. <laughs> anyway, and then vanilla beans, anti-inflammatory, neuroprotective, and it also is a powerful antioxidant. So if you're using real vanilla bean, you get all those benefits. If you're using just the, the extract or a flavor, you might not get all those benefits. And this has the real, the real stuff in it. And black tea helps to reduce bad cholesterol. It's high in polyphenols, boosts heart health, increases clarity and aids digestion. And a study that just came out of the UK showed that black tea helps you live longer. So all of this and a cup of tea, can you believe it? So whether or not you're a Scorpio, I think you should head over to clubmagichour.com and get yourself a beautiful jar of Scorpio tea because it's never been done before. There's nothing like this in the world. So happy sipping and enjoy. I'm gonna take the not so pretty one because that one we need to take a photo of. It's my masterpiece. Yeah, it's like a love potion. <laughs>